Hello. Hello. Welcome to Ace Bob Ross. How to paint in oils, orchids, acrylics, and whatever else you paint in. Today we're going back to the basics. It's always a good idea to go back to the basics. And I'm going to just show you a little bit about modern pigments. They're all sometimes called organic pigments, although they're not organic. Actually, the old mineral pigments are much more organic, that is, of the earth, than the modern pigments are. And, um, save that, save this. This is a nice canvas. I no longer stretch my own canvases. I had to stop about 20 years ago because my hands just couldn't do it anymore. It wasn't the hamstring that just hurt all the time. So anyhow, <laughs> mixing basics, minerals, mineral pigments tend to be heavier. The modern pigments are petrochemical pigments. You can't see this. They look kind of the same. Hue-wise, hue is just one component of paint. It's what we would call the color. So they're somewhat similar. This is a step down. But um, this, if you ever get two tubes of paint and you get an old heavy metals tube of paint, they're heavy. They are made out of heavy metals. This weighs almost nothing. I got a tube of, um, of uh, white lead one time and I was like, this is so heavy. So I started getting all my paints out and, and weighing them. I should have recorded it. But anyhow, I'm going to just demonstrate with, um, I need that. Oh, first I'm going to put my, um, do my water ritual. So, crazy is still in the water. Someday crazy may come out of the water, but not right now. Today I'm going to put in a push pin, a clear push pin. Okay. Let's do this. I thought I had a different rag, but I need to have a double rag for this. Because it's messy. Maybe I didn't pull one out. Well, this rag can go down here for now. Uh, alrighty then. I have... I hope I didn't get this all mixed up, because I got kind of confused with this. But these are mineral pigments. These are modern organic pigments so this is uh this is a cobalt i couldn't find just the regular cobalt deep but if i did it would make the mass tone the hue in the mass tone would be somewhat similar um let's see what do i want this would be fine is it clean enough enough. Okay. These are either dirt or heavy metals. Of course. But I have my barrier cream on. So no matter what happens when I walk into the studio, I am somehow managed to get cadmium red, Prussian blue, or some other paint all over me. This is a naphthol. This is a, um, oh, I think it's a, I can't remember, it's a da, 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 whatever it is, dazzling. This is an Indian yellow, it's a synthetic Indian yellow. That's a cad yellow medium, and that's a, that's a dirt, that's a yellow ochre. So heavy metals, heavy metal, heavy metal, heavy metal. None of these have it. And I'm going to, demonstrate this while I listen to um, a learning, 
a piano tutorial essay uh, by Bach. So you might have, you might know this if you ever had to take lessons or got to take lessons. Okay, that's my cue. I'll finish this tomorrow. But as you can see, this naphtha that I'm working with is what we call heavy tinter. So that is another property of paint is its tinting strength. We go through all of that later. But this is so far heavy metal. Oh, this is a modern pigment, a moderner. Heavy metal, modern. Let's just see really quickly. No, I'll do that later because it's not exactly what I want to do right now. Anyhow, thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are um, using this opportunity to make art and make a journal with art and because um, you're going to want to look back on this time and see something that you created visually. Anyhow, and I like color so it's always, I'm always having a good time with color. So anyhow, um, thank you very much for stopping by. Okay, bye.